So for installing your saddle and also taking off your saddle, there's basically two different types of clamps. Um, this one is probably the most common now. This one is a little bit of an older style. They may look a little bit different. They may have two Allen bolts um, or hex bolts, um, but they kind of act pretty much the same. So to take off this style, which is the older style, um, all you're going to need is an adjustable wrench or usually a 14 millimeter wrench. So what you do is you just loosen one of the sides to where it's pretty loose, to where you can just get your hands on it and pull it all the way off. So this basically disassembles this whole top piece. It all completely fall apart. So you can see there's a bunch of pieces here to this clamp and they all fit to back together pretty easily. You just have to know the, uh, the order that they go on. So you have your seat posts here. All seat posts are a little bit different. Um, you're looking at different sizes based also in length and also in width. So it usually goes from about 22.2 millimeters, 22.2, to usually around like 32 millimeters. So it's a really, really wide range. And make sure you have a pair of calipers or um, you take it to a bike shop and they can measure it for you. So to install it, you take your seat post, you have the, uh, the, the top here, which is a little bit narrower than the bottom, and you're gonna take this piece and it has a, the head right here, place it right on. Then you take these pieces right here, that basically where the rail goes through, and you can place one on one side, one on the other side, and you can attach it to your saddle by just sliding it on the rails. Most of the rails are pretty standard sizes. Um, the, only, the only saddles really that uh, have a different size rails are uh, track racing saddles, and you won't see many of those unless you're track racing. Um, then you take this piece, basically you want this uh, so the rail can fit in this little slot right here, and you're just going to place it right through, and you put the other one on the other side, and put the nut back on. And when you're installing it, you can, you can slide this, the uh, seat post back and forth according to the spe specifications of the saddle. So like this saddle actually has a range on it where it says this is the max right here and this is the max right here. Don't go past that because then the, um, it has a potential to break. So you just kind of tighten it back together and I'll show you how to adjust it um, up and down uh, after we work with this saddle.